dump. It was because I, t I left home at an early age, and um, I don't have no other way to say it, coaches, forgive me, uh, but my boys was on the block. So while I'm in school from eight to three, they getting it in. So they picking me up in Mustang 5.0. They picking me up in the Jeep with the top off, in the side, no seat, they didn't blew the back seat out, no back seat out. They just got the eight and tens in the back of this school. And I'm coming out of class, getting in the car. They coming right up to Henry Ford. I, I'm from Detroit, eight mile. They coming right up, grabbing me. Here you ready? I'm getting the ride. Like, why am I still going to school? They're like, why you get the FCD? Like, why you still going to school? That's why I dropped out of school. But guess what? You know why it was so easy for me to drop out of school? Because my father dropped out of school. My father had five kids by five different women. And why was it easy for him to drop out? Because my grandfather died. I did something unique. I went and got my GED, got my four-year degree, got my master's degree, and I'm a dissertation away from my PhD, and I hate school. So somebody said, you hate school so much, why you get a PhD? Because I figured if I get a PhD, I'm going to create something in my family, and my son going to have to at least graduate from what? Come on, come on, give him 400, come on. If your daddy got a PhD, you can at least do what? You can at least graduate from high school. Let me tell you something, I told my son, I ain't trying to put no pressure on you, but it's been 60 years since a male in our family has graduated from high school. Son, I'm gonna need you to take your senior years serious. We got a lot riding on you, and I'm telling you, the legacy is here. Greatness is here. But it ain't on Cam's shoulders no more. It ain't on Farley's shoulder no more. It ain't on Bo Jackson's shoulder no more. Now greatness is on who's shoulder. That's why I wake up every morning at 2 o'clock, 2.30. I got my mama counting on me. I got my sister counting on me. I got my son and my daughter counting on me. I got a world that gets up every morning and watches me. I got little kids who don't believe that they can do it. When they saw me, they thought now they can do it. So I get up every morning at 2.30, 3 o'clock. Why? Because Frank is the Dr. King is dead. Malcolm X is dead. I'm that new guy. I'm that new inspiration. I'm the guy you look at when your daddy ain't in your life. When your daddy in prison. I'm that guy that comes to your high school and tells you you can make it happen. Greatness, 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 greatness is a part of you. better act like it. Maestro music. Ho, ho, ho. Wow, wow, wow. Superb Sunday, superb Sunday, superb Sunday, superb Sunday. It's your girl, Ella E, coming to you live. Oh, snap. We live. Die for your love. Bye. 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 It's so beautiful out here, guys. It's such a beautiful day. It's Sunday, right? The first day of the week. It's so beautiful out here. What's going on? Check this out. Ooh, I'm surrounded by fog and the rain and just greens everywhere. Isn't this beautiful? Oh, my, my, my.
die for your love. Tell her why I'm missing, why I'm fucking dumb. Yeah, zip it in. Die for your love. Let's go inside this place real quick. Die for your love. Let's see what this place is about. Let me show you guys around. What's going on? Superb Sunday to you guys. We are in Maryland. Oh. Let's see what this is about. Ooh. Nice. Nice. Sideline Hill, welcome. All right, let's sign in here. So, what are you guys up to? Superb Sunday to you all. It's such a beautiful day here. Let me sign in. Why not? Let's see what this place is about here on the LA tour. What are you guys up to for today? What are you up to? 20k. What are you up to, Miss Beautiful Queen Jalissa? And what side of town are you guys in? What side of what part of the world are you in? Those two boys, he told me to subscribe. Yes, I do. I do. I sure do. I sure do. I sure do. <laughs> they want to spoil your mic, yeah. I forgive it. <laughs> You're one of them. <laughs> I would hope so, right? <laughs> I remember you. How can I not? Let me tell you, that's one thing about me. If if I don't remember your name, I, I will definitely remember you by your picture. If I see your picture, and or if I see you in person. Because it's not a person I encounter in life I don't remember. I may not have to remember your name, like I said, because I bump into millions of people. Um, but I won't forget you, babe. I will not. How are you? Great. Oh, this is all blocked off. Oh. Oh, okay. So it was an exhibit. Yeah, from the looks of it. Yeah, it's very nice. So what made you guys like shut it down? Um, budget cuts. Okay. In 2009, they closed the whole building down due to budget cuts. Um, and it was closed for about six years. And wow. we opened in 2015 as the Maryland Welcome Center. Wow. Yeah. So all the exhibits that were here, they were donated to the Hancock Museum. Mm -hmm. So they are still down there, just kind of a little bit out of the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Definitely we'll look into that. Uh, is there anything else that we find today? Or just browsing. Yeah, it's beautiful. So I wanted to show my Instagram viewers and other people like that. You know, well, people help. help Thank you. And I love reading, so I will definitely here, grab. Just to let you know, they're organized from west to east. Oh. So Allegheny and Garrett County, the next two counties will come. That's in this section all the way over towards the uh, eastern shore. Gotcha. So please help yourself. Just let thank me know if you have any questions. Yes, thank you. I appreciate it. What's your name? Jan. Jan? Yes. Beautiful. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Wow, okay guys, so this, so as she said, there was an exhibit here, and you can tell, you know, it's blocked off, but like she said, it's offices now, but it's very gorgeous, look at this, so nice, what's the Nachi from the stairs, it's very beautiful here, I love exhibits, exhibits are super, super awesome, you get the historical backgrounds of wherever you are. Why not? History is a beautiful thing. This is nice. You. Very, very nice. 
Very, very beautiful. I'm gonna get my partner to come in here and then we'll, I'll come back inside. All right, thank you. It's very, 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 very nice. Let me put my uh, commentary here. All right, I'm gonna go step outside with you guys again. So you guys can see outside, it's, it's, it's beautiful. Despite it drizzling, let me um, open my umbrella. Despite it drizzling, it's still beautiful. And I encourage you guys to definitely take the opportunity to go outside. You know, that's something that I always encourage. Um, it gets you at peace and, you know, God created these for many, many reasons. You know, the sun, the stars, the moon, the clouds, the rain, the trees, all the greens. Uh, you know, and we sometimes sit and not really appreciate it. Um, I'll be the one to facilitate that for you guys as long as I live because that's something that I definitely do cherish and I take pride in. And that's being one with nature. Um, the Bible emphasizes you know, the goodness of nature. Um, and we, we find different stories, even in the Bible, describing nature. I mean, if we take it back from um, when the heavens and the earth was being created, you know, he took his time, the Most High took his time to create these things individually. And I, I sometimes sit and I think, and I'm like, wow, you know, when, when God said, let there be light, and light came to an existence here on earth. And, and when I wake up, when I arise, you know, I say to my kings and queens, you know, uprising, or we'll say grand rise, um, you know, it just reminds me, it reminds us that we shouldn't even be, we're not worthy of these things, but yet we receive it every single day so that's why i encourage you i inspire you and i motivate you to take the opportunity to go outside i bump into a lot of people in this universe and you know into conversation you know some of them don't even they don't even know how, what sun is that might your pill <laughs> that might your blush <laughs> You know, our, our black folks, our black people, we talk about hashtag melanin, but we're so afraid to even let the, t uh, the sun touch our skin because it's, it's so hot. But how do you expect to receive your melanin? How do you expect to receive these good vitamins and good source of energy? You see, that's why oftentimes we're so grumpy. That's why oftentimes we're just so frustrated. We're full of negative energy because we don't even step outside. We don't sit and just stand and I actually posted a video on my YouTube channel not too long ago about that how we just don't sit be still look watch feel what the universe has for us you know we're so busy in this world with our, our work life our school life our home lives you know and just dealing with our lives outside of that but yet we don't take the time out to appreciate, to adore, to worship, to love the things that we ought to. We're too busy, you know, showing off on our Instagram. We got money. We're traveling the world. We got the latest outfits, you know, and just a whole bunch of things. And not to say you can't, that's your business, that's your life. But what are what what's the message you're trying to uh, give out? You know, when you do your postings, do you really really evaluate what you're posting? I know before I do, I, that's that's something that I must do is to evaluate what I'm putting out into the universe because I know once it's out, it's out, right? Once it's out, it's out. So what message or messages? You're putting out here in the universe. You say you're a Christian. You say you believe in God. You say this, you say that. But I can't tell. I really can't tell. A lot of times, 
oftentimes, and the majority of us, we're living in a world of a facade. And not in the world in the USA or whatever country you're in that you're watching me now, but I'm, I'm speaking in our world, in LE's world, in your world. We're living in a facade, yes. We're walking like this, yes, <laughs> like this. You see, you wanna know why your prayers have been not yet been answered? It's because you have a faith like this. You're walking like this. Even when you're praying, you're like this, meaning your, your faith, your hope, your aspiration for this breakthrough is like this. So how do you expect to how do you expect to evolve from that? How do you expect to... How do you expect things to become reality? How do you expect for your breakthrough to be your breakthrough if you're like this? You're closed-minded. <laughs> you're closed-minded. <laughs> you're closed-minded. So how are you supposed to receive this so-called blessing? How are you supposed to receive this financial breakthrough? How are, you, are you, how are you supposed to receive this degree that you're searching and that you're seeking and you're studying for? How are you supposed to receive this grand house or this land that you want to buy and, and to build this humongous house for your tribe? How are you supposed to receive this good man that you, you've been praying for all your life or this wonderful woman that's going to be an asset to you in your life if you're walking like this, if your, your mindset is like this? Hmm? If the way you speak is like this, and we must remember that words are spells. Do you know that? If you didn't know that, I'm gonna educate you on that just a little bit here today. You know, when someone says, oh, you're a bad girl, you're such a bad girl. Why are you so desert? You know those are spells, right? You're feeding these kids, your kids, these these spells. Now, when, when, as a child, you're, you're calling this child a bad kid. Oh, you're no good. You're such a bad kid. Or, oh, did suck. Or, you're never going to be nothing. Or, you know, and, and this child ends up being a drug dealer, a thug, someone who's just out here doing the do. You as a parent, how should you feel? You shouldn't feel bad and don't go before God at the throne and asking him for help because you put that child there with your spells. Yeah. See, that's why I don't say good morning anymore, right? <laughs> We've learned that. You know, why would we say good and morning? Let's break down the word morning. Morning has two syllables. More, need. Let's take the word morn. What does that mean? What does that mean when I say, hey, what does the word mourn mean? It means death. It means darkness. It means isolation. So why would I mix good and death and darkness together? You see how they teach us these things? Good morning. You see, two women blind. Good morning. And they give you the fake smile. And what do you do? You say, good morning. <laughs> right? That means not only did you accept that spell, but you gave it back to them. Right? Yeah, so I've been studying words lately, and that's just one example for you guys. So I don't say good morning anymore. The words are spells, words are powerful. How do I know they're powerful? Let's take it back to the to the book. Let's take it back to the basics. The Bible says, God said, let he said, let there be light. He spoke light into existence. So from there, you should know words are very powerful. I was live yesterday on Facebook and um, an individual said, I wish I was with you or, um, if I wasn't so lazy. I wish I was with you. If I wasn't so lazy, I'd be with you. And I told that individual on my live that, well, <laughs> starting with your words you already messed up because when you say that if I wasn't lazy 
You know you already programmed your mind to be lazy and not get up and get that exercise in. Do you know that? You've already activated that. So therefore your body is not gonna wanna get up, get out and do it. Because why? You already spoke it into existence. If I wasn't lazy, I'd be right with you. Well, you're lazy. You already said the problem, you're lazy. <laughs> right? So, so you understand? Understand, that's another thing. Why do you say understand and not understand? Because why would I understand things? Understand? No, you see, I overly, exceedingly, abundantly understand things. I, I don't understand things. I overly, exceedingly, abundantly understand things. That's why I, I know I'm destined for greatness. That's why I know I am great. That's why I know I'm golden. That's why I know I'm the bomb.com. Okay, but you see, that's just Ella E. What do you think about you, baby? What words do you feed yourself on a daily basis? You see, Ella E here wakes up every single day. And I look at myself in my reflection, whether it's a mirror or even my shades. <laughs> and I say to myself, girl, you are just so beautiful. You're phenomenally made. You are worthy to be praised, girl. You are a goddess. You are a queen. And can't nobody stop you but you. <laughs> you see what words can do? You see, I don't need a man to to confirm that I'm golden, not at all. I don't need a man to be in my life to tell me that I'm beautiful. I don't need a man in my life to tell me that I'm sexy, hello. <laughs> I don't need a man to tell me that, girl, you are just something special. Because you see why I feed myself these things every day. <laughs> not every day, but every day. <laughs> okay, but that's because I speak life to me. How many of you guys speak life to you? That's why a lot of times uh, walking in this universe, I, I see people, they're walking all right, but they're not walking. They're walking like this, they're so dead. You know, do I know what they're going through? No, unless if I engage into a conversation with them. But before they open their mouth, I can already tell and I could sense it because, you know, I'm a spiritual goddess and I'm evolving in that. But I wonder, what is it that that person is doing to elevate themselves? Are they feeding themselves the same way they feed themselves through their mouths? You know, we're quick to go to buffets and to devour and to gourmet on these beautiful meals. But how many of you guys go to a buffet to enhance yourself? Now, when I speak about buffet, I'm talking about your surroundings. Who is in your circle? Are they feeding you positivity? Are they elevating you? Like I said, are, are, are people in your lives, are they an asset or a liability? It's either one or the other, they can't be both. It's either they're dead weight or they are the weight that'll elevate you and that'll help you, especially in your time of need. You know, shout out to all my VIPs. Y'all know who y'all is, hello. <laughs> All my VIPs know who they are. And because of my VIPs, I still stand, I promise you. The same one that I love to inspire and motivate you and myself, I wouldn't be able to do so if it wasn't because of my VIPs. Because of my VIPs, I know when I'm at my lowest point, they are the ones to definitely pick me up because they know who LAE is. But you see, how many of you have that kind of VIP in your lives? Where when you're at your lowest point, they'll be the one not to just run away from you because you're at your lowest point, because that's what a lot of people do in your lives. Yeah, 
they go ghost when you need them the most. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? They go ghost when you need them the most. They go ghost when you need them the most. Those, those are not your VIPs, baby. You need to, to, to get rid of those kind of people. If, if, they, if you don't do it, they'll definitely walk out of your lives. Yeah. You know, I've gotten used to people coming into my life and leaving it. It hurts. It really do hurt. Hello and welcome to... Of course it hurts. Relaxation. No, we're not going to do no relaxation right now. Okay. Now. We're going to do another one, okay? If that's all right. We don't want you guys sleeping on this live here. But um, while I'm speaking, I do want you guys to meditate with me as well because um, meditation is awesome. This meditation is for a Reiki and it's the seven moons, okay? I know you guys may not be aware of it, but those who are aware of the seven moons, um, this is one of my favorites right here. But how many of you guys have these people in your lives? Who are your VIPs? You know, when, when you're going through your depression mode, when you're going through, you know, a loss, you know, you lost a loved one. When you're going through a financial breakthrough or financial problem, when you're going through issues of, of church, you know, church people accepting you. You know, or just people accepting them. When you're going through relationship problems, who are your VIPs in your lives? Are they an asset or a liability? And oftentimes what I find is we hold on to the liabilities more than the assets. We value more with the liabilities than the assets in our lives. To the point where assets dissipate or they terminate and they dissolve out of our lives because we show them no value. We show them no value. We don't tell them how much we love them. We don't bring them flowers. We don't go visit them. We don't even give them random calls. We just expect them to be the assets just to be. No, that's not how it goes. The phone works two ways, sometimes three. Four, five, six, seven, eight ways. You can, as a matter of fact, you can do conference calls now. We're living in the 21st century. We have so many tools. You know, the internet is just going up and down, up and down. It's just growing and growing and growing. So what's your excuse? Do you tell your assets, your, your VIPs, how much you love them? How much you care about them? Or are you gonna wait until that day when they are gone or they've gone to another stage of life when they're not there physically anymore. When that day comes of their funeral, you're at their casket. Oh my God, oh no, I love you. I never got to tell you, but I love you. Why do we wait for that moment? Why? Why? Why is it that we're gonna wait to that moment to tell the people that matters the most in our lives that we care. Let me tell you this, if you haven't heard these words before in your life or at all today, let me be the first one to tell you, baby, I love you. I love you. I love you. You are beautiful. You are gorgeous. You are handsome. You are worthy to be praised because you are a queen. You are a king. You are a princess. You are a prince. And I want you to receive these words and let it penetrate within your mind and let it go inside of your system so you can feel it and so you can believe it. Because if you don't feel what you say, if you don't believe what you say, what makes you think it's gonna ever activate? That's not how it works, baby. Just like with that individual who said on the live on Facebook that, you know, she said she was lazy. She already activated her laziness by saying it. Words are powerful. Words are spells. So that's why you have to be very, very careful with what you say, how you say it. That's another thing, too. Tone of voice is extremely important. A lot of us don't realize it, but it's very important. And I take big oath in that and a lot of people don't understand that you know when somebody is routing up in their voice let's say if, if someone is arguing with me right 
I don't like to say argue, but like to have a conversation or they want to disagree with me, right? And you can tell when that person is riling up because why? Their tone of voice starts to elevate and escalate. It goes higher and higher and higher and higher, right? That's that tone of voice. It's just like saying, hi, how are you? Or, hi, how are you? You felt that, right? That was two different tone of voice, two different approach. Yeah, oftentimes we, we don't realize that. We, we, we don't realize that, we don't realize that. That tone of voice is extremely important as well. So we must be not only careful with our words, but also with our tone of voice. And not only with our words and tone of voice, but what is the message? You see, I always try to receive a message on whoever's live, or if I read a post, or what's the message that you're trying to give out so others can receive? And if it's not nothing positive, then I definitely don't need it. I don't. I'm gonna go shoot. That's why a lot of people I unfollow because they just post irrelevant things, things that are not gonna bring life to me. So why do I wanna go to my timeline and see that if it's not bringing life to me? That's just weighing me down. That's just making my vibration go lower. Yeah. They're like, what, what is vibration? Bloop. Think about it. It's like with the tone of voice, it vibrates. Frequency has vibration. So when you have the dead weights, the liabilities in your lives, when you have these people who are, who are always talking down on you and not bringing life to you, you need to get rid of those people. You do. It may be challenging because you care about them. You, you love them. But sometimes the best thing to do is just to let it go. Because at the end of the day, you must protect yourself. Everyone's out here for themselves. If you're not here for yourself, then what are you out here for? We're, we were placed here on this earth to fight the fight and to fight the battle. Of course, not our own, but on our own. What are you doing? How are you equipping yourselves to go out there in the universe to fight the battle? I, I make sure I meditate, <laughs> definitely. I pray, I manifest, and I speak life to myself and knowing that I'm definitely gonna go up into an asshole. I'm definitely gonna go up into some grumpy person. I'm definitely gonna bump into some negative, toxic people. And that's why I must protect myself. So when I do encounter people like that, I know exactly what to do, what to say. Another thing I want to tap into is your worthiness. You see, not everyone I walk by, I say hello to, or I say, hey, it's a perp Sunday too, because not everyone is walking like this. Not everyone is worthy of your presence. You know that? No. You see, I put me, I put a time on everything. Yeah. So whoever I want to hang out with or chill with, whatever the case is, we have a time. Because my time is super valuable. I don't know about you, but I put value, a lot of value, in my life when it comes to time. Because I know life is short. For those who don't know me personally, I'm 5'4", so I'm pretty darn short. Not too short, but I'm, I'm, I'm pretty short. So I know the lifestyle of the, of the short, short people lifestyle. So shout out to all the short people. <laughs> so I already know how the world looks over here. So why would I let anyone come in my life and try to take away my time and try to waste my time? No, no, no. For what? What am I gonna get out of someone wasting my time? Nothing. So why tolerate it? Why tolerate it? You see, oftentimes we tolerate a lot of bullshit in our lives. Yep, I know I did. <laughs> I did. But why? You have the power to choose what you want in your life. You do. Either you accept it 
or you terminate it. You agree or you disagree. At the end of the day, your peace is your peace. You know that, right? At the end of the day, your happiness is your happiness. You know that, right? At the end of the day, your life is your life. You know that, right? Yes, your mom and dad sacrificed the world to love, protect, and provide for you. But now you've reached a point of your life that it's time to fly, baby. It's time to fly. It's time to adventure in life. See what life is about. Breathe what life is about. Walk what life is about. Speak what life is about. But how are we supposed to do these things if we don't even know what life is? We don't speak it. We don't read it. We don't feed ourselves it. We don't drink it. We don't cook it. We don't walk it. We don't dress it. We don't feel it. We're not confident in it. So how do you expect people out there to see this so-called light that God gave you and I? That's why it's very important. It's very important. It's very important and it's very crucial in your life to take the time out every single day for yourself. <laughs> you see, as busy as I am, as I love to keep myself. Oh, let me tell you something. Ella E comes first. Yeah. My mind must be right. My spirit must be right. My energy must be right in order for anyone else to receive it right. Right. That's why it's important to pray daily, to meditate, to manifest, and to speak life unto your life. Don't wait for someone out here in the universe to speak it to you. Yeah, why? Now, when someone do speak life to you, you take that and run with it, of course. But why wait until someone else comes into your life to tell you how beautiful you are for you to believe it? Why wait until someone comes into your life to tell you that, boy, you are just, man, you're such a man. You a hardworking man, and you're just, you're just a, a man. Why is it that we gotta wait? For someone in our lives to confirm these things that we should already know within ourselves and if you don't know these things within yourselves it's because you need to take the time out for yourself you see i went live not too long ago i believe a couple weeks ago with marie and we were discussing how a lot of us are out here seeking and searching for this perfect relationship you know this bay hashtag bay you know, so we can take these nice pictures and post on Instagram and Facebook and, and show the world how happy we are, right? We invest all our money and all our energy, all our time into this one individual. We're trying to get to know this person on another level each and every single day. We're learning their favorite color, you know, what they like to eat, what they don't like to eat, places they like to go, places they don't like to go, the kind of crowd they like to be around with, you know, the type of style of clothes they like to wear, their shoe size, you know, that we even get to know their family, their moms and dads, sisters, brothers, uncles. We do all of these things. But yeah, we don't even know ourselves. So baby girl, why are you gonna go ahead and waste all that time getting to know someone else when you should have took all that time to get to know thyself holistically? You see, when you know thyself holistically, anyone that comes in your life just comes to confirm what you already know. And that's a good thing. So when someone comes into me or comes to me in my life or approaches me and they say, you're just so pretty, just like last night on my live on, on Facebook, not Facebook, on YouTube, where the, the young individual girls came up to me and just said, you're just so pretty. My, I was flattered. You know, it made me smile. I was blushing and I couldn't stop blushing. Now, I wasn't smiling and blushing and I wasn't flattered because they, that was the first time I heard that. No, it's because it was a confirmation of what I am. It's just a confirmation of who I am. And because I know that I am, people see it. And when they see it, they speak it to me and confirm what I already know. But how many of you already know that you're beautiful, you're smart, you're handsome, you're intellectual, you're just phenomenal. 
You're great. You're a hard worker. You cook. You clean. You do the laundries. You take care of the kids. You protect them. You love them. That's a lot of work. That's a lot of energy you're putting out there. But how many of you guys know these? And if you don't know it, you need to start practicing these things. I encourage you today to stand in front of your mirror and just deeply and genuinely stand and stare right into your eyes. Stand and stare right into your eyes. Stand and stare right into your eyes and say, baby, you're just so beautiful. You're just so gorgeous. You're amazing. You're such a sweetheart. You're great. You know, your smile is beautiful. Your spirit is beautiful. Everyone loves you. And for those who don't, oh well, it's because they don't love themselves and they don't know what love is. Oh well, if they don't love you. You think everybody loves me? No. I get dislike buttons on my videos. Do you think that matters to me? I don't care. Because I don't do these videos for any likes nor dislikes. I just put it out there just because. Why not? That's my duty, is to encourage and motivate and inspire you. So I encourage you to stand in front of your mirror today and speak life to yourself. Don't wait for a man to come into your life, sister, to give you life, my sister. Ooh. And don't wait for a, a, a girl to come in your life to tell you how good your um is, okay? <laughs> don't wait. You must feed yourself these things every day every day <laughs> every day because if not you're going to be waking up and walking up to a dead life a dead life how many of you guys are living a dead life today you may not admit it but i want you to sit and really think about your life what is it that you're doing in your lives i was talking to um, a friend of mine and I was like, what are you doing today? And um, he goes, hey, you know, I'm just gonna go to church and then go to sleep. But typically if he's not at church, work, it's sleep. <laughs> Why are you sleeping all day? Why are you home all day? There's so much to do out here in the universe. There is. And if you don't know what to do out here, Google it. As a matter of fact, we have Facebook and Instagram and all these platforms where if you don't know what's going on in your community, you can search it. If you don't even have money, it's okay. There's a lot of free events out here where you could go out and mingle and socialize with people. You know, I kind of feel bad for people who don't have a social life because, man, that's a dull life. I, I, I can't picture myself just keeping my life in, in such a hostile world where I'm just by myself. Why? Why? I'm not out here surviving on my own. There's millions and trillions of people on this planet. So why not make friends? Hmm? Now the friends that we make, you definitely have to be careful with. You know, and as much positive as you can be, there will definitely be people who are trying to come into your life that's definitely not on the same frequency as you. Now, when those people come into your life, let them come so you can see what they want. Because sometimes they really do need you. They won't say it, but their energy and spirit will definitely say it. Because their, their spirits speak death and just dullness and just sadness and just... So maybe they do need you. But don't keep them for too long now. Because sometimes... They may try to suck up all your energy. Yeah. Suck up all your energy. Suck up all your energy. That's why you feel so drained at the end of your night. Think about it. Because you're tolerating all these different kind of people come into your life and just take away from you. Don't tolerate that. Don't. And when they walk out of your life, it, it, it can be a challenge. Cry about it if you if you want or if you need to, but don't cry forever. You know, I, I'm reminiscing on someone that was in my life and I really 
really love this person. Not that I don't anymore, I still do. But to know how they walked out of my life and why, it, it's, hey, it's, it's, it's a hard pill to swallow. But guess what? I swallowed it because, you know, just like your uh, high blood pressure, that pill that you had to take, you had no choice. You didn't want to take it, but you have no choice because why? Your blood pressure. So you just took it. So yeah, I swallowed that pill. Yeah, I cried about it. Yeah, I was hurt about it. But you know, at the end of the day, I know I have many other people in my life that loves me. And there are those who have yet encountered me that would love to be in that person's position. So, you know what I like to say? Next. <laughs> next. Yeah, that's me. I came up with that hashtag. Next. Yeah, next. Next. Right? <laughs> you have to protect yourself out here, guys. You do. Because there are people who really want everything from you literally there are people who follow you on instagram facebook whatever social platform you have and they look at your lives what you post and not to be happy for you but they really hate you they hate the fact that you're just so happy they hate the fact that you're just so successful they hate the fact that you have ownership in business or Whatever it is that you're doing, they really do hate it. You think they're following you just because they're happy for your happiness? No. They just hate the fact that they can't have what you have. They can't have the life that you're living. They can't have the people, the good people in their lives. But they fail to realize they can too have that. But it must first start within themselves. How do I know this? Because I've dissected my life and I've evaluated and I've I've broken down the goods and the bads and 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 terminated everything that definitely does not bring value and life to my life. Once you start clearing your closet, you start clearing, you know, just like the spring cleaning that you do at your home. I, I encourage you to do that with your social life and your your life itself. Yeah, you should test the people in your lives. Why not? If they're in your lives, well, why are they in your lives? Yeah, I figured that out. Why is Jessica in my life? What, what's she gonna bring to me that I know I'm gonna bring to her, right? Why is Sam in my life? Huh, cause Sam is always that handyman. When I have a, a problem at home, Sam is, right? Why are your VIPs your VIPs? I actually came live just so I could show you guys the scenery, but things shifted with this live and it's okay. It's all right. And I thank you for those who are chiming in and who have chimed in and chimed out, who hit the love button, who hit the share button. If you shared this video in your DM or to someone's DM, I thank you. Because that's what we're out here. We're just out here to, to just give life and speak life and give life to those who don't have any to motivate and inspire. We all need inspiration. You don't think I do? You don't think I do? But you see why I love it so much? It's because I've never had it in my life. I had to motivate and inspire myself and all that I've done in my life. So I know how it feels to not have that person in my life to say, hey, Ella, how's school going? Wow, you're doing good. I'm so proud of you. Make sure you stay focused. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Wow, you're almost there. Man, I can't wait till you graduate. Or man, really? You closed that deal? Girl, go ahead, keep going, keep... Yeah, I know how it feels. That's why I, I do it so much. Because when you don't have that in your life, you really don't have that push and that drive to keep going. That's why a lot of times people drop out of school, they drop out of just life. They just give up. You know that one dream that they had, they never fulfilled it because why? They don't have that person in their life to give them life, to speak life to them. I know I need it and I have my VIPs to always inspire me, to push me and to keep going, keep going, I'm cheering for you. And it's amazing to know that people are cheering for me. But how many people is cheering for you and what you're doing? Or what is it that you're doing in your life? And whatever that you're doing, is it an asset or a liability? 
Is this something that's gonna be a longevity, for longevity, or is it for short term? What's your time frame? What time frame do you put on your goals? Are we working towards it? Are we speaking it into existence on a daily basis? You know, I say I'm gonna be the next Oprah every day. You see how like smoothly I said it? Let me see, I first said I was gonna become the next Oprah, I can't even remember when. I gotta go back to my, my, my videos and postings. But now I just say it so comfortably because why? I'm speaking it into existence and I know it's gonna happen. At least that's just me. How about you? What is it that you speak into existence? You say you wanna get out of the negatives in your account. You say you want to buy a home. You say you want to get married, have a beautiful wife, have a beautiful husband with kids. But are you speaking it to existence? Are you speaking life? Are you speaking it into existence? Are you speaking life? Are you speaking it into existence? Les Brown speaks about that. For those who don't know Les Brown, I encourage you to definitely look him up on SoundCloud, on YouTube, whichever, because he's everywhere. If you don't know who he is, then uh, you're definitely missing out on some goodness. But Les Brown speaks about that always. So what is it that you're doing today to give life to you, to give life back? And it's okay if you're walking like this, but now it's time to open up and walk like this. Walk with the open mind. I promise you, the universe will give you so much, queen. The universe will give you so much, king. I promise you. But you must have an open mind. If you don't have an open mind, how are you supposed to receive it? If you don't have an open bank account, how are you supposed to receive the blessing? If you don't have an open spirit, how are you supposed to receive these things? It just don't work like that. That's not the formula to life. It's not. So I encourage you today to not only look at yourself in your reflection, whether it's your mirror or your, uh, your shades. Hello! Whatever it is, baby. I want you to look at yourself and say, I am beautiful. I'm gorgeous. I'm phenomenal. And I was made into perfection. Yeah. I'm golden. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, if nobody, if anybody, if no one has ever valued me, I'm going to value myself. So, Ella E, you are just so sexy. Ella E, you are just so phenomenal. Ella E, you are just so beautiful. Ella E, you are the bomb. Dot. So I encourage you today to speak life to yourself. Because if you're out here trying to seek it from people, good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Because it ain't going to happen, okay? It ain't going to happen. And if it does happen, just be, be grateful, okay? Just, just be grateful. Be grateful. Give me one second, guys. I'm going to go ahead and switch the music just for a quick, quick second. I'll be right back. Right, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys this view again for those who are chiming in right now. Um, I'm in Maryland, so shout out to everyone who is in Maryland. Let's go ahead and open this umbrella. I wish you were. So beautiful out here. Look at the fog. I'm gonna go down there for you guys again. It's so beautiful. It's so, so beautiful. Look at all the greens, all the trees. And history, right? History is a beautiful thing. When you know your history, you know a lot. So shout out to Marilyn. Are you? I wish you. Oh, this is so pretty, guys. I wish it wasn't raining. I would definitely do some yoga out here for you guys, but unfortunately, next time we're out here. If 
right? It's so gorgeous. And if you haven't had the opportunity to travel in your life, I hope I encourage you to do so as well. Because this is definitely life. And it goes up. Oh my, my, my. Let's go over here first. So beautiful. I wish you were here with me. Sunday to you, my queen. Yes, quick hello. I saw you live, Marie. Ah, oh, thank you, babe. <laughs> Look how gorgeous this is. Wow. Beautiful. And the stairs obviously goes all the way up there. Let's see. Let's go up there. Why not? Let me take you guys on a nice adventure. Why not? Hello. And I don't know how long I have left on this live here. And I'll probably go live on my um, Facebook. Let's see. Body. I like the way you do the body, body. Make me want to the gummy body, mm. the gummy body. Ah, okay. Eh? Oh, yeah, lipo go. Baby, let me go lipo go. Ah, oh, yeah, lipo go. Eh? Baby, let me go lipo go. Cause you know lipo go. So make me go lipo go. Oh, yeah. Nah. Oh, nah. Oh, nah. Oh, nah. Oh, nah. Oh, nah. Yay, we made it to the top, guys. I'm going crazy. Oh, nah. Live here in Maryland. Hello! Oh yeah, 